Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and as you probably know by now, iOS 18 is now less than two weeks away from being released to the public. Actually, we will have the first RC version of iOS 18 in less than a week now. It should be released after the new Apple event, the iPhone 16 event, which will be held on the 9th of September, so the next Monday. And then after the event, you can expect to see the first RC version of iOS 18 in the public release a week later, which should be Monday, September the 16th. So in this video, I will show you guys everything that you need to know on how to prepare your iPhone so that you're ready to update your device once iOS 18 gets released to the public on September 16th. Now, first of all, talking about supported devices, well, this year it will be very simple. If you have a device that you have iOS 17 installed on that device, then it means that you will also be able to install iOS 18. So Apple did a great job here, even though not all the features will be supported by all the devices that will, there will be, of course, a few different features that will be only on the newer devices and with the Apple intelligence features only being on the iPhone 16 series and the iPhone 15 pros, other features, most of them will be available to other devices as well. And even if you have an older device, you will be able to install now iOS 18 and have most of the cool new features on your device. So let's get started with the update process and everything that you need to know on updating your iPhone to iOS 18. Now, the first thing I would suggest you guys do before you even try to update your iPhone to the new iOS 18 is back up your device. Even though probably nothing will go wrong, just in case you make sure that you have a backup of your iPhone's data. Another way to do that is of course, to simply connect your iPhone to a computer and back it up through iTunes or Finder on Mac, or just go to your iCloud on your settings and then go right here to iCloud backup. Make sure you have this enabled and make sure you have backed up your device and all of the data before you try to update your iPhone to the new iOS 18. The next thing you should do before trying to update your iPhone to the new iOS 18 is make sure that you have enough storage on your iPhone. Now for this update, I would suggest that you have at least 10 gigs of free storage on your iPhone. You can check the free storage by going to general settings and then go right here under iPhone storage. Right there at the top, of course, it shows you how much storage you have used and how much you have free. And then it will show you here everything that it's taking up storage on your iPhone. Even it shows you a few different tips like right here, I have on recently deleted, like a couple of gigs of things. I can go ahead and empty that right now. And I will see all the different apps here and how much space they're taking on my iPhone. The way, maybe the easiest way to free up space right here is to delete a big app, like you can see right here, Spotify or Snapchat. Now, even though you delete these apps, you might just go ahead, delete one of them, then just install the update and then install the app right after you have installed the update. Because you have to keep in mind that even though the update requires quite a lot of space, it won't take up all that space on your device. It just needs the, the space on the device to actually make the update happen. And once it's done, once your iOS device is on iOS 18, then you can go back and install your app. Now then for things like podcasts right here, you can just go ahead and see what you have here. Like right here, you can see I have a few different episodes that I have downloaded. I can go ahead and delete them from my device so I can save a ton of space here. And of course, you will have other things here, like the data that you have on your browsers, like the Chrome or Safari. Just go ahead and take a look at all of these and make sure to delete any of them if you just need to make enough free storage for your iOS 18 update. Now, another thing you should do is make sure that you have enough battery on your iPhone if you just want to update right away once iOS 18 gets released to the public. I know this is not a big deal, but if you're maybe somewhere where you don't have access to like a charge or something like that and you want to install iOS 18, you need to make sure that you will have more than 50% of battery on your iPhone in order for the update to happen. That way you will get the update once it gets released to the public. Now, another thing you need to know is the updating process when you're on a beta. Now, currently we're on beta eight of iOS 18, and I'm pretty sure we won't see another beta. Most likely the next release will be the RC version, which will be released on the 9th of September. 
Now, if you're currently on one of the betas and you just don't want to go with the RC version, you just want to stop here and then update to the public release, this is how you do it. You go to the general settings and then you go to the software update right here. What you will have here is your beta updates. You go here and turn them off right now before you update to the RC version. Once you have done that, then all you have to do here is wait for the release of iOS 18 to the public. On this page, you just refresh right here and you will get the update for iOS 18. Now, if you're on, on iOS 18.1 beta, then there is nothing you can do. You won't get an update for iOS 18. You will have to wait for October to actually get iOS 18.1 on your device because you won't be getting an iOS 18.0 update. Now, if you actually update to the RC version of iOS 18 again, which will be released on September 9th, then there is nothing to worry about. That's the exact same update as the public release. So you already have updated to the public release if you have updated to the RC version. And then from there, you can go ahead and decide whether you want to continue with the betas or just stay on iOS 18. And of course, if you decide to just remove the betas from your device, no longer continue installing betas of iOS 18, then you just go ahead and again, just turn off right here the beta updates. And now let's talk about whether you should update or not to iOS 18 on day one. Well, in my opinion, you should. I think this update is actually quite stable. I had this since day one, since it was released on the first beta, and it actually is pretty solid. Of course, with the new features, especially with the control center and the home screen customization features, there was some problems, of course, some bugs when trying to switch like in this case, in the home screen, trying to switch between different modes of like icons from the dark mode to the light mode or to a tint, it would just mess up the thing sometimes, but it's actually gotten pretty well and Apple has improved a lot of things here. Now it works really as it should. The same thing with the control center. Battery is okay, not the best ever, but it's not terrible. It's actually quite good. So of course, again, performance pretty smooth pretty good performance so in my opinion you're good to go with installing ios 18 on day one on your iphone so that's pretty much it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video again ios 18 is now coming very soon there are a few days left now again less than a week now from the release of the rc version and the reveal of the new iphone 16 and then of course as usually a week later we should see ios 18 get released to the public that should happen on september 16th so that's pretty much it for this video guys go ahead leave a like if you enjoyed the video subscribe of course for more ios 18 videos and i will see you on the next one